Okay, I know everybody in Montreal is kind of thinking about the same thing right now. Jeff Skinner, the Buffalo Sabres, the four-goal game. It's kind of the talk of the town at the moment, not because of anything the Montreal Canadiens did in particular, but because of what Jeff Skinner did. He always seems to play well against the Habs, does he not? But either way, I'm making this video about a different topic. Let's go over onto something Pierre Lebrun said. Yeah, that's right, it's Pierre Lebrun. This is one of the main guys on the TSN broadcast, one of the main insiders who's got himself a very big reputation of being just one of the more in-the-know people in the hockey world. Now, this idea that he throws out there is not really anything that he's heard. It's not a speculation thing that he's gone out there and said, oh, they're thinking about this. Oh, there's somebody in the know who's told me this is a possibility. This right here is just, in the words of Pierre Lebrun himself, a random thought. Here's an idle thought. If... For whatever reason, Johnny Gaudreau does not re-sign in Calgary and he hits the UFA market July 13. His agent, Louis Gross, was also Martin St. Louis' agent. And Martin St. Louis was a player Johnny Gaudreau looked up to growing up. Like I said, just an idle thought. And then he even throws the little, like, you know, googly-eyed, tongue-out emoji at the end of the tweet. Pierre Lebrun, you've got a sense of humor, man. I love it. Haley Salvian replies, why? And he says, it's just a random thought. So what he's bringing up over here is a complete diversion to every other thing that we have seen when it comes to Johnny Gaudreau and potential Johnny Gaudreau destinations. He's implying that because of the history between Johnny Gaudreau and his agent and the current Montreal Canadiens interim head coach, as well as Johnny Gaudreau's idolization of said head coach, Maybe, in some possible world, should he go to free agency, he might actually sign with Montreal. Now, this is not the first time we have seen connections between Montreal and Calgary. We made a video... Oh boy, did we make that video yet? Talking about Tyler Toffoli and the Flames, how they're interested in him. And we also had that other video a few months ago also talking about Toffoli, but this time also in the context of a Sean Monaghan trade, because maybe Montreal would want a center like Monaghan. And so... There have been some connections here and there regarding Calgary and Montreal, but this one is the biggest one. Or should I say the smallest one? Yeah, he's the smallest guy out of all the players we've talked about, so he's the smallest one out here. But, contextually speaking, of course, Johnny Gaudreau is the best player, he is the most important player, he is the highest scoring player amongst all the players we've discussed in regards to a Montreal-Calgary connection. This season, Johnny Gaudreau making $6.75 million a year, 5'9", 165 as a left winger. He's 28 years old. He's smack dab in the prime of his career with 58 points in 45 games played, a 100-point pace year, which is great because he reached 99 points in, what was that, 2019, and he didn't reach the 100-point mark. He was one off, so very unfortunate for him there, but he's on pace for about 106 points right now should he keep up this pace over a full 82 game season. And Johnny Gaudreau and the way things have gone, it's been difficult to try to map out what is going to happen. We've speculated the idea of a trade back when the Flames were not really doing all too well. Okay, this team's not great. Do you want to go out there and trade away Monaghan, trade away Gaudreau, trade away all the guys that you know or not really know whether or not they're going to be on your team next season and try to just get draft picks and do all this? But Calgary can't really afford to do that anymore because they're no longer bad. Okay, maybe it's not like they were ever bad, but they were playing poorly earlier on in the year. Now, they're good enough for second in the division behind Vegas. So, this is a team, 8-2-0 in their last 10. They've won six in a row that has really gone on a heater. And so, do I see the Calgary Flames going out there and selling the draw and selling Monaghan like people were speculating they might have back when they were in that losing streak? No, I don't really see that happening anymore. This team's probably going to add, if anything, because they don't know if Gaudreau is going to come back. They don't know how everything is going to fall into place when you secure the long-term future of this Flames team. And so maybe this is the year to go all in. And that's definitely a possibility. I would respect the Flames if they went out there and did that, try to go for a one-last-ditch effort to get this core a Stanley Cup, whether or not that means trading for Giordano again, keeping everybody together, just hoping that Gaudreau and Monaghan and Kachuk and everybody do as well as we think they should be able to do in the postseason, and just see what happens in the offseason, whether or not Johnny Gaudreau stays, whether or not he goes, whatever. 
Speculation has popped up here and there, though, when it comes to Johnny Gaudreau and whether or not he'll re-sign with Calgary or go somewhere else in free agency. Should he go to free agency? The number one team that everybody's talking about as a potential destination is Philadelphia because, oh, he's, you know, he grew up in New Jersey, but he liked Philadelphia growing up. He was a big Flyers fan, hometown reunion, yada, yada, yada. And so... There is a connection there that is pretty easy to establish, but this other connection is one that wasn't really brought up until Pierre Lebrun talked about it on Twitter three days ago. Calgary, Montreal, oh boy, two Canadian markets. And admittedly, if you are a star in the NHL going over to a team like Montreal, you're kind of gonna get treated like a saint, would you not? Remember how the fan base treated Ilya Kovalchuk? Like, sure, there was somewhat of a level of deception that was sort of there, because Kovalchuk is definitely not as good anymore as he was before, but, like, imagine a star like Johnny Gaudreau going to the Montreal Canadiens because of all the reasons we listed. Martin St. Louis, the agent of him, is also Gaudreau's agent. St. Louis, also somebody that Gaudreau really liked. Not to mention the fact that under St. Louis, you have another small guy in the Montreal Canadiens that's actually doing pretty well now. Cole Caulfield has gotten his game back. We haven't made a video about that yet, but... That certainly has been an aspect of this team that have gotten so many people on board with the way Martin St. Louis is coaching this squad. It's man-on-man -man defense, it's offensive flexibility, and it's Cole Caulfield going out there and scoring goals. This is what we wanted out of this guy, right? And so when it comes to playing smaller players, we said this back when St. Louis was hired, but who else could go out there and really capitalize, really know how to play your smaller guys than one of the most iconic smaller players in the NHL's history books today. Martin St. Louis defied all odds, and this is a guy that doesn't care if you're 5'7", 5'8", 5'9". He's going to go out there, and he's going to know what to do with you because he's that smart of a hockey dude. And Cole Caulfield's gone out there and done just that. So, Johnny Gaudreau, he's kind of the guy that I think fits the mold of what St. Louis could work with and what St. Louis could really expand upon. And I don't like saying it like expand upon because that kind of implies that Johnny Gaudreau is inferior to what he could be. But no, he's already a great NHL player. He's on pace for 100 points. He's fantastic. But I'm just saying, man, St. Louis, have this guy throw Gaudreau out there with a Cole Caulfield, see what he allows them to do, see how many points they could get. That sounds like a very fun idea, does it not? It's just... Obviously, you have to try to weigh things out. Would Johnny Gaudreau want to stick around in the Canadian market? If he does go to free agency, would he want to go home to Philadelphia? Would he want to go to Montreal? If he goes to Montreal, all of a sudden, the pressure is on. Like, you thought Canadian markets in Calgary were going out there and pressuring their stars? Well, it's going to be up tenfold in Montreal. Like, I'm sorry, Calgary, but that's just kind of how the hockey landscape works. Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, these teams are all so harsh when it comes to the actual reception that the players have from the fans and the media that if anybody's going to be going there, you kind of have to be prepared. And so for Johnny Gaudreau, whether or not he stays in Calgary or he goes, it's not really anything that we know too much about, but it is something that we can speculate on. If Johnny Gaudreau re-signs like the second I upload this video, he signs a contract extension eight years long till he's 35 years old, then okay, this video is kind of pointless. But until he signs the pen to the dotted line that extends his hockey playing career into 2022, 2023, and 2024, we still have the opportunity to go out there and bring up ideas like this one. Pierre Lebrun, everybody, thank you so much for going out there and throwing out that idea of Johnny Gaudreau to Montreal, just implied and everything, because he wants to go out there and start some conversation, which is kind of what he's accomplishing because I'm making this video, is it not? So, talk to me in the comments if you're a Calgary Flames fan. How would you feel about this? How would you feel about Johnny Gaudreau departing your team in free agency? Do you think he will stay or he will go? We've got a lot of conversation going around about betting because it's a Super Bowl today. So if you had to place money on it, does Johnny Gaudreau stay with your hockey team? Or does he go to Philadelphia? Or does he go to Montreal? Where does he end up for 2022-2023? If you're a Montreal Canadiens fan, what do you think about the idea of acquiring a Johnny Gaudreau on the free agency market? Should he be available? Do you want to get into a bidding war with the Philadelphia Flyers? Because both these teams are pretty bad right now. They both could use some top-tier offense like a Johnny Gaudreau is. So talk to me in the comments. What do you think about this entire idea over here? I hope you enjoyed this British Royals. And bye.